Hi, now I've got the work solutions here to this example on working with arithmetic sequences. And you might like to try them, the three parts A, B and C. You can always fast forward to see the work solutions for any of these parts. Okay, so we've got an arithmetic sequence which has a first term A and a common difference D. And the sum of the first 10 terms of the sequence is 162. And for the first part A, we've got to show that 10A plus 45D equals 162. Well, to do something like this, you've got to be familiar with various formulae that occur with arithmetic sequences. And one of them is the sum of the first n terms, often denoted by Sn. It's equal to the number of terms n over 2, all multiplied by twice the first term, 2a, plus n minus 1 times the common difference d. So it's this formula that helps get this particular part of the problem done. So do try and learn this, okay, as the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence. So if we're to answer this question, we're given that the sum of the first 10 terms, S10, equals 162. So where does this take us? Well, therefore, we would have n over 2, 10 over 2 in this example, 10 over 2, multiplied by twice the first term. We're told the first term is a, so that'd be 2a, plus n minus 1 times d. Well, n minus 1, that's going to be 10 minus 1, or in other words, 9, times d. And so this total is going to equal 162. Now we can simplify this because 10 divided by 2 is 5 and all we've got to do is expand the bracket. If we do that, 5 times 2a is therefore going to give us 10a. And then we've got 9d here, so 5 times 9d is going to be plus 45d. And that's going to equal the 162 here. And that's what we had to show. Now for the next part, we're given also that the sixth term of the sequence is 17. And we're asked to write down a second equation in A and D. And to do this, you've got to be familiar with the formula for the nth term of an arith arithmetic sequence. It's given by un, say, u with a subscript n, and it equals the first term a plus n minus 1 times the common difference. So do try and remember this particular formula as well. You'll often find but I can't guarantee it, it depends on your examination board, but you'll quite often find these two formally given in your formula book. So, when it comes to this one, we're given then that the sixth term, that say u with a subscript 6 here, is equal to 17. So therefore, using this particular formula here, we can say that a plus the number or the nth term minus 1. So n is 6 here. So 6 minus 1, that's going to be 5, 5d. So we've got plus 5d equals 17. So that's my next equation. Now, in the last part, part c, we've got to find the value of a and the value of d. So this is clearly going to be simultaneous equations between these two equations here. So I'm going to number this equation, equation 1, and this equation, number 2. And from the equation 2, I'm going to make A the subject. There's many ways that you can solve simultaneous equations, but I'm going to use a substitution method. So I'm going to say here that from equation 2, let's just write that in green there, from equation 2, 
I'm going to make A the subject. So if I subtract 5D from both sides, I get A equals 17 minus 5D. And I'm going to call that equation 3. So just write that in there. So now that I've got that, I'm going to sub equation 3 all right, into equation 1. So just say that there. And so what does that give us? Well, we therefore have 10 times A, but we've got that A is equal to 17 minus 5D. So 17 minus 5D there. And then we've got plus 45D, and that equals 162. So if we just expand the bracket, what do we have? Well, 10 times 17 is 170, then minus 50D, plus the 45D, well, that equals 162. And if we simplify this, Let's just add up uh, 170. I can see we could take 162 from both sides. So 170 take away 160 leaves us with 8. And then I've got more minus 50D plus 45D. So that's minus 5D. Add it to both sides and I've got 8 equals 5D. Divide both sides now by 5 and D is 8 fifths or 1.6. I'll give both values there, 8 fifths or 1.6. So that's one answer then. Now we just need to get A and so all I've got to do is sub okay, 1.6 into 3. So sub in equation 3. And what does that give us? Well it's going to give us the value of A so therefore A equals 17 minus 5 times 1.6. Work that out and you end up with A equaling 9. Okay, so we've got our two values. A equals 9 and D equals 1.6. So, hope uh, that was one that uh, you were able to do or certainly can see how it's done if you made any mistakes.